What's going on YouTube? Project Millennium. I haven't done much to the inside other than plans. I've cleaned this thing. I scrubbed it. And I've still got a lot to do on the outside. All this silicone has got to be scraped off. I don't ever use silicone on metal. This, once I get the interior walls back to where they need to be, I'll tie all this back in. You can see what they've done here. Some color matching sheet metal screws, but she's cleaned up, boy. And yesterday, this is what I did. I had a really bad ding in the bumper there. And you can still see it's a little bit out of shape. But I had uh, some practice with Bondo. And uh, used uh, the black truck bed coating, which came out nice. And my trailer light hook up here, I remounted. Uh, we've got horses, and I'll be pulling a horse trailer. And I'll probably put another receiver hitch on the bottom and on this side I'll do the same thing with a different style plug that has the brakes and everything and I have a brake controller and I got all my rubber pieces put back into the windows where they need to be but as far as cleanliness she has cleaned up quite nice it's about two hours worth of work scrubbing it And uh, all the black metal. This uh, generator's got to come out too, and I'm gonna bitch test it and get it running. But all that'll be painted, painted too with the uh, truck bed coating. And I also did the mirrors. I think they came out nice. Looks a lot better. And on my Ford. See the bumper here is a brand new bumper. I hit a deer a couple years ago, and uh, the bumper they used was just primer when they put it on. So on the metal section of the bumper, I'm going to go with the same type of uh, truck bed coating. And I'm going to have to get a new awning and do some uh, different work here and there on it, but. Figured I'd do something. I haven't put anything on YouTube in a little bit. We'll take a look at the Mustang. So, okay, I figure I'll give you a review of my favorite vehicle of all. My Ford F-150 half ton. It has a 4.2 liter V6 in it. This truck has been very reliable. I highly recommend spending a little bit extra in getting a Ford if you're going to buy anything. Might as well be a Ford. It's got a hundred and... 64,914 miles on it. I've had the truck for about five years. And I've never even had to put brakes on it. It is a five speed, which they're kind of rare. You don't see a lot of, most people want the automatics. I try and keep it real clean, and I've tuned it up, put belt on it, new battery, and I tell you, if you're going to buy a battery, you might as well just buy one of the marine batteries. It's going to save you about 30 bucks on whatever battery you buy versus a battery specifically designed for your vehicle. It's my personal advice, but I love it. It's a little 4.2 liter. You know, it's uh, kicking over 200 horsepower, somewhere around 4,000 RPM, which is more than what a V8 made in the 80s. Uh, as far as low-end torque, it doesn't have a whole lot. I mean, I used it to uh, pull my 18 and a half foot bass boat for quite a while, you know, and it'll cruise on down the road with, I don't know, this that boat was probably 2,300 pounds. And of course, I got the long bed. But it's been a really good truck, you know. I have no complaints with Ford. I figured I'd add that in there rather than just have a video about nothing. And as you can see, I've been driving the Intrepid quite a bit. And she's still for sale.
I've lowered the price on it, 1800 which I hate to let it go for that. She's such a reliable car. But she does have problems. Not perfect, but reliable. And if I don't sell it, I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm just going to keep driving it. It runs so good. And the Mustang. A little bit dark in here. I've yet to uh, fire it. I promise you I'll get it on video. The very first moment I turn over, we'll see what happens. But <clears throat> I'm not going to run off the gas tank because I know it's gritty and dirty. So I've mounted a board out here. And I'll have a uh, ignition kill and I'll have a... Uh, fuel pump kill. I'm going to use an electric fuel pump instead of running off the tank and just uh, run out of a can here. I'll pressurize it and then we'll see if the carburetor leaks. I've gotten the alternator put back on. I rewired a lot of things that were not wired or incorrect. But uh, I've turned it over several times and checked my top bed center. She's in time and she's turning freely with no issues. So, um, very close to trying to fire it just with work and stuff, I haven't had time. The interior is atrocious, but, you know, um, if I get it running and the transmission and everything does shift and pull right, um, I'm gonna drive it as is for a little bit. Just, uh, I'll probably primer it all in black and uh, she's got some bad areas here. I've got a friend of a friend who's possibly going to help me do the metal work and stuff on it and uh, this whole rear valve is going to have to be replaced and the inside mounts of the trunk or the inside structure of the trunk this is an odd thing for a Mustang but I think this was a factory option this of course will be unbolted and taken loose but she's getting there uh, very slowly so stay tuned for that my next video will probably be firing this sucker up. I've got too many toys. It's hard to uh, get everything done I want to get done. Work hasn't been real steady as it could be the way people work nowadays. Um, this thing's got some rust in it, but it's all structurally good. I haven't really looked into it. But we'll see what goes on from there. Anyway, that's my update on what I've been doing. And I'll get you a shot of the underside. We've got some rust here and there. Really bad there, but it had undercoating at one time. Um, the exhausts are still in good shape. I got the drive shaft out, but I think, uh, you know, we're not even going to have an exhaust leak. I mean, to me, uh, all the unibody seems to be in good condition. So this car is gonna it's gonna run and drive. Um, I'll probably dismantle the backside of the differential and scrape all the old um, gear oil out of it and put fresh gear oil in it. Uh, but I'm gonna disconnect the gas tank before I start it and let it drain and I'm not going to run through that fuel pump um, and we've got a lot of leakage here you know rear main seal up there and then this transmission's covered in fluid so you know we're going to have to see where we're at on all this but in general I don't think that we're in that bad of shape on it and you can see um, all this is undercoating here, you know, so we do have that on our side. And, uh, got some rust here and there, but as I go through and I uh, get the wheels off of it and I start replacing, you know, shocks and brakes and things that will have to be done before it's drivable. I'm going to start grinding away on a lot of this stuff and recoating it and try and keep it preserved. But 
just gives you an idea of what kind of shape it's really in. Uh, the floor panels are good. They've been uh, slightly repaired. You can see the screws that come down here where they've put a pan in there, but I don't see any major problems there. Um, before I'm done with it, if I go with a 343 stroker, I will definitely have to put uh, um, um, subframe connectors in that'll come from there back to here and mount back into the frame again as it comes around. But, you know, the mufflers, they're not, they've not got holes in them. And, uh, I wouldn't say they're original, but they very well could be. Who knows? My motorhome is definitely my first and most important project, but take a look at sitting in this thing i can't wait to get it running this this just sits low and i'm five foot ten and i've got the camera right in front of my face you know this seat sitting back here this would be you know my cruising altitude with uh seven foot of hood out in front of me you know i really am interested in getting this thing running right all my gauges seem to be really nice. With this 141 horsepower 302, I doubt that it will kick 120. And uh, a little concerned about the transmission. And uh, we'll see. You know, all my gauges are here. I think uh, I can get them all to function. Some of my wiring is probably going to have to be run, redone and replaced. But this dash just sits way high on this thing. You're sitting low. And of course, I've got it on jack stands, the front end's a little bit higher than the rear end, but, uh, you know, that's part of it, but, uh, my old, uh, original mirror there, there's so much work to be done on this car, someone's put a headliner in it, so, for my future enjoyment, <clears throat> that'll do me just fine, but, uh, this hardwood uh, steering wheel that I'm gonna refinish, sand it up, clean it up a little bit, and that might be it. I may not even seal it. I don't want a sticky steering wheel. But uh, again, I'm getting to be more and more interested in this car. Uh, get your lights, your parking brake, and your windshield wipers. This car did not have air conditioning as a, an option. And I've been told that this is not period correct. This would have been added later on. This 1973 Mustang would not have come with a cassette player, I don't think. Eight tracks would have still been. And you got a little switch there, evidently, for that light that seems to be kind of bugged up. Oh, but when we put power to it, we'll see what uh, works and what doesn't work. But all my glass is good. Um, and I'm going to get to work on this thing. So the next time you see a video on the Mustang, it's going to be a... Uh, starting it. And... Uh, Tonight I may work on that some more. And you haven't seen the hood yet, but there it is. That chrome piece on the top uh, or in the front of the hood, I need that. Or I may fabricate that out of something. But uh, it's all surface rust. Um, and then my uh, hood mount hinges are all rusted up. So I'm going to start working on them. I'll probably take them off of the hood and uh, grind them down, clean them up, paint them and then uh, really grease them up and try and get them to function better. Um, these hinges, the way they are, it starts bending the hood generally whenever you try and... And there's my it's like windshield washers or something. I don't know what that is, but... It's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun.